With the cost of living crisis still raging, handing out smackdowns left, right and centre, in today's video we're going to talk about the top five ways you can make money online in 2022. Now some of these I've been doing myself, some of them I'm doing currently, and for the ones that I'll mention that have been part of my seven income streams, I will actually share with you how much it's generated and added to my personal pocket in 2021. This is designed to hopefully inspire you, get your juices flowing around the kind of things that you could do that will hopefully bring in a little bit of additional income if you need it right now. But before that, I'm due to go to the Henry Regatta tomorrow and my hair is a mess and it's time for a, a bit of a clean up. Right, that's better, got a haircut, feel normal. So let's get into the first thing that you can do to make money online in 2022. And that is selling items online. Now these could be things that you identify as being something that you could buy for a discount and maybe, just maybe, sell for a higher price. And there are lots of places you can do this. You've got eBay, but also you could think about um, selling unwanted items. And let's be honest, we all have things lying around our house that we either don't use or we don't wear that could be converted into cash. Now, just looking around my house, there's a number of things that I've identified that I could go and sell that are either sat in cupboards in storage that are just gathering dust that could represent a nice bit of money. A prime example of these are these Giuseppe's that I bought back in 2016. Now, can you believe it? I paid a thousand pounds for these puppies. What an absolute waste of money. And I know that I've only worn them a few times. They've been in their box the entire time. But unfortunately, I can't convert these back into a thousand pounds, but I could potentially convert them to, I don't know, 100, 200, maybe 300 pounds maximum if I ever needed it. Not that I'll sell these because these are a constant reminder to me of how stupid I used to be with money. And it draws the parallel between if I just spent a thousand pounds and bought Tesla stock in 2016, how much richer I would be right now. It's, it's absolutely crazy to think of it. So I won't sell these, but what I have done is I've recently sold some camera equipment. So I've been on YouTube now for three years. And over that course of period of time, I've actually accumulated a couple of cameras and lenses that really I don't use anymore. I'm shooting on an X-T4 right now. So I used eBay to sell those two cameras and those lenses, netted just over a thousand pounds. After fees, it translated to 900 pounds. Now, eBay is a little expensive, um, but I could have sold them on Facebook Marketplace, for example. But I've tried sell, selling stuff on there before and it doesn't feel as secure as eBay. Now, selling items could translate to you using Amazon FBA. I did a video on Amazon FBA, which I will put a card to uh, just in this corner right here. So you can watch that if that is something of interest to you. Obviously, um, cost of living, fuel prices, the cost to import goods has gone up drastically over that period of time. So maybe a consideration if you're looking at, at FBA. But the point is, everyone's going to have items at home that you're not using. So perhaps try and have a little rummage round and see what you can convert into cash if you're struggling for money at this point in time. But back to these Giuseppes, talking about money that I guess you could make work harder for you at the moment. Here's a little message from our sponsor of this video. So we've heard a lot about rising inflation recently and you're probably keen to give your money more potential when investing but you may not know how and where to start. The good news is it's a lot easier than you think. With Wealthify, they'll make all the investment decisions for you based on market conditions. All you need to do is choose what type of plan you want to open, tell them about your appetite for risk, and decide how much you want to invest. You can also make your investments ethical if you wish. They'll then build the perfect plan based on how you want to invest. And the best thing is, not only are the fees low, but you can start with as little as one pound. And as well as being one of the first robo-investing platforms that I reviewed on my channel, Back in 2020, they've also won plenty of awards over the year, such as the Digital Wealth Manager of the Year at the 2022 Money Facts Consumer Awards, the Best Investment ISA at last year's Per. 
Personal Finance Awards, the Best Investment Platform at 2021's Online Personal Wealth Awards, and the Best Investment Provider at the 2020 British Bank Awards. If you want to find out more about Worthify, there is a link in my description box. However, please remember, with all investing, your capital is at risk. You could get back less than you put in. Wealthify is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. So the second way you can make money online in 2022 is to consider freelancing. Now, freelancing is pretty cool because you can do it alongside your day job. So you can keep that if you wanted to, and you can start to build this up on the side as a side business or a side hustle. The beauty is you get to control how much energy you want to put into it or you don't want to put into it. Now, in the freelance space, there are specific things that are very, very sought after right now. If you think about social media, YouTube, so on and so forth. So if you're an editor, really, really sought after. Virtual assistant. If you have a drone and you're really, really good at droning, then you can put a drone in the sky, take some really cool pictures, take some really cool videos, put those on a stock, uh, stock site for example. Now, these are all things that are possible and it's really, really easy to actually get started. All you need to do is register with the likes of Fiverr and Upwork. I use Fiverr and Upwork quite a bit actually for stuff that I need to be done around the periphery of this channel and in my wider business. Now, obviously I'm here on YouTube, so I picked up some videography skills over the last two and a half, three years. However, I'm probably not the best person to speak about it from a freelancing point of view. So here's Tim. He shot my documentary last year. He's worked on some of my videos this year as well. And he's gonna share his experience and give you some tips on how to get started if videography is your thing. Hi, my name is Tim Batchelder and uh, originally I'm from South Africa. My wife and myself moved over just under two years ago and uh, I moved over as a freelance photographer and videographer. I run my own business, my own freelance photography and videography business called Tim Batch and essentially I provide photography and primarily videography services for a range of different clients. So I shoot a variety of different things, be it corporate, I'm not going to share my corporate clients, but corporate is definitely one of them. Those are the best paying jobs and I'm so grateful for those opportunities. I do work for a butchery where I shoot photos and videography content for them to use as both marketing on social media and website images, uh, obviously, on their website. I do work in the health and wellness or fitness space doing work for both personal trainers so I've got two or three personal trainers that I do work for um, I shoot weddings um, weddings is an amazing avenue why because it's consistent two it pays really well and three it's actually a really good opportunity for you to master your skill and so those are kind of a few of the jobs that I do that keep me busy on a week to week basis. Income is obviously an important thing for us all and so I wish I could say to you that every month I bring in X but it doesn't work like that in the freelance space. Some months you have some really good months where you land some big jobs, you sign some jobs, you do some stuff and you end up with a really good pot of money. Some months you are literally relying on those retainers and no new work comes in. So it is something that is very variable and takes time to build that up but on a monthly basis you can be bringing in a freelance world you can be bringing anything from 1500 through to seven eight grand a month so it really depends on the clients you land and who, who you do work for and how hard you are willing to work but if you're willing to put in the hard work and to push through the hard months the reward truly does come back and reward so how to get started really how I got started was I got a camera I was given a camera for my birthday one year and it was the thing that I learned on and actually just only recently in the last two or three days I've got this camera the Canon R5 but for eight or nine years I shot in the 5D Mark III that has been an absolute work for I've dropped it I've broken it it's been in four repairs and so get yourself a camera and get shooting is tip number one. Tip number two is really to start low, not that you are a bad content creator, but start with the jobs that you can manage and scale your way up. 
start with those small jobs that people don't have great budget for but it is an awesome opportunity for you to get your name on the page um, or your name out into the industry it's amazing how networking works how word of mouth works and so thirdly be present online people are active online and if they see that you're active online active on LinkedIn people see that recognize that and they take that as a lead for business and then a little cheeky tip at the end here just be yourself and back yourself uh, I'm a South African maybe that's just what we do but honestly the opportunities that have come away just because I've backed myself and people have believed in me it's it's honestly come as such an amazing reward I hope that some of these tips some of these experiences have helped you and I hope that they encourage you and push you to do more in your space good luck so the third way you can make money online in 2022 kind of merges with number four on my list but I'm going to treat them separately because they are technically two separate things so number three is coaching and tutoring now obviously there's a caveat here if you're coaching or you're tutoring someone you need to have a, a credible knowledge base to I guess convince the people that you would be coaching or tutoring to hire you as a coach or a tutor. Now that is something that I've been doing for the last at least a year and a half, maybe even two years. Now for me specifically, I've got 15 years worth of experience in financial services across retail banking, corporate banking and wealth management. I used to be a financial advisor. I'm a qualified mortgage advisor as well. But in terms of the credibility, that's really, really important. So when you go and search me online, there's a lot of videos, a lot of podcast episodes. I've also got my own podcast where people can go and look at and listen to what I'm saying. And that helps them kind of gauge whether or not they would want to work with me or have them help them on their financial journey. Beyond that, there's also a few t television appearances now, which gives me authority in my space as someone who knows what he's talking about. So in what I do with regards to coaching with people when they take coaching with me, it's all about helping them make the best financial decisions. So helping them make sense of the choices in front of them. If they are new to investing specifically, and I do a lot of this, it's about helping them set up their investment journey so that they're not making mistakes and they feel confident in the decisions that they're making to start off with. Now, coaching forms one of my seven income streams altogether. And last year, I added just over £18,300 to my income. So it can be very, very lucrative, but it does require you to have some kind of knowledge base, some kind of credibility, some kind of authority in order for people to, I guess, spend their hard earned money with you. And that's what they're doing at the end of the day. You have to deliver value when it comes to coaching and tutoring specifically. So the fourth way you can make money online in 2022 is closely linked to number three, like I already mentioned, and that's digital products. Now, digital products could be anything. It could be Excel sheets. It could be guides. It could be cheat sheets. It could be a course. Now, the latter has got a lot of stigma and skepticism attached to it because there are lots of courses out here that cost a lot of money. I mean, I've seen courses for thousands upon thousands of pounds that when you really look at it, they're teaching you really basic stuff. And whilst I say that, I'm also conscious that I also have my own course. It's not priced in the thousands at all, but it's there as a, a course for beginners when it comes to investing. It teaches you how to keep your money safe. It teaches you about uh, the investor psychology, asset classes, risk management, timeline theory, how portfolios are built, buying individual stocks versus buying ETFs and index funds. It's there to give the foundations for beginners. And I priced it at $59.99 because I wanted it to be accessible to everyone. So digital products can be a really, really nice addition to your income stream. My course is the second of my seven income streams. And in 2021, he added just under £10,000 to my income through that year. I've not looked at the numbers for 2022 just yet. It can also be a really, really nice source of passive income as well. So I created the course once people are able to continually buy that. So it's work up front with money coming in a bit later on. But again, you need to have some kind of knowledge base. And I'm also going to introduce in this section, Aaron, who actually has some really good digital products of his own and he's gonna give you some tips as well. Hey everyone, I'm Aaron Knightley. So I think the key is for me and what I would like to offer as an insight is knowledge is power, but also knowledge is it does hold a monetary value. And what I mean by that is if you can learn something, get it down to a fine art, dominate that sector, whatever it might be, 
convert that into some form of a digital package, which I have now done multiple times. I've got books on Amazon. My digital products are going online on Teachable, which is a great platform, especially for starters, where you can upload your knowledge, put it into PDFs, courses, video courses, where people can interact, engage and learn and ultimately they have to pay for that product. So they're paying for your knowledge and this is where it's key, it's passive income. How can you earn money when you're sleeping? Well, convert that knowledge into income. And you know, I talk a lot about that in a book that I wrote, Self-Education Equals Success and Income, and that is totally true. So where to start? Well, firstly, you need to educate yourself. If you've got no value to add to any market, how can you expect to gain some form of monetary value? How can you monetize if you haven't got knowledge to share? So that's the, that's the most important thing, self-development. And what I would say for tips and tricks really is that you just need to work on yourself and just make sure that you're gonna offer a product to the market, whatever market that may be, that there is a supply and demand and that you ultimately, this is the key part, is marketing. We can all go against competitors, we can all put out products, you know, you can create a product in a day, it can be a week or a month, depending on how much intense information and how much you dive into it. Everyone can create a product, but it's how you sell it. That's the key. You know, are you dominating your sector? Are you positioned well across all social media platforms? And that's the key here, is that everyone is looking for validation. So yes, you could create a product, you can do very well. Passive online income is truly the future. You know, it can get you out your full-time job, but ultimately it's knowledge, it's marketing, and then putting a product out to the market that is supply and demand that can be sold to the masses. Um, I'm Aaron Knightley, hopefully that helped, and I look forward to speaking to you all very soon. And the last way for you to make money online in 2022 on my list is renting out your parking space. Now, this will work really, really well if you're in a dense population center, or you're close to uh, transport links, or you're in an area of interest where you might have a couple of things going on. So I've already mentioned that I'm going to the Henley Regatta tomorrow. I have literally had to pay £31 to park on somebody's drive during that period of time. Now, when I was in London, I lived in London for a good number of years. I used to pay £250 a month for a parking space in Royal Victoria Docks. It's a lot of money. So if you do have, you know, a, a parking space or a drive that is close to transport links or points of interest or high density population centers, then consider doing that because it's very, very easy to set up. You can use this site, which I use for booking the parking space for the Henley Regatta, and they take a little bit of a commission, but really the money is for you. And this is very, very easy for you to set up. And it's actually quite secure as well. So those are my top five ways of making money online in 2022. Clearly there are lots of others that I haven't mentioned and lots of others that you can consider. The idea of this video is to share a couple that I'm doing and I have been doing for some time now that have been very, very good for me and to introduce people that can actually give you their uh, views because they're also doing it as well. Um, but as always, I appreciate you for watching. If you did enjoy this, make sure that you drop a like. Catch you on Friday.